Whose painting of Abraham Lincoln hmm. will replace the one stolen from Norwich City Hall? Pretty big question. When someone swiped the painting, Norwich leaders decided to hold a contest. As News 8's Tina Detail explains, dozens are now waiting to learn if their rendition will be the big winner. Among all these portraits of Abraham Lincoln is one winner, which will soon hang at City Hall to replace an original, stolen back in the 90s. It is a heist that remains unsolved, the portrait painted by John Dennison Crocker, honoring Abraham Lincoln's visit to Norwich City Hall in March of 1860, was cut out of its frame. Were you surprised, though, by the response or by the quality? Both. Vivian Zoe organized the contest, attracting artists from as far away as New York City. The majority of artists are really fairly local, and that's really terrific to see the kind of talent that's right here in southeastern Connecticut. Homegrown talent hoping to have their Honest Abe painting picked from the 62 submitted. 29 of those paintings will hang during a May exhibit at the Norwich Arts Council Gallery, which has limited space. But only one will hang at City Hall. It's the replication of the original as close as possible, and then that 19th century sensibility of color and the figure. It needs to fit not only physically, but in the style of the 19th century frame. The judges made their decision Monday, and the city will pay the winning artist $8,000 for the painting. Changes have been made to the city hall display so that history doesn't repeat itself. There will be a camera focused on it at all times, mm -hmm. and it will be uh, covered with a special museum glass. To the untrained eye, it's hard to tell, but soon we'll know which portrait has been chosen when this exhibit opens here at the Norwich Art Center on May 1st. On the scene in Norwich, Tina Detell, News 8.